Hello again, everybody. Well, today we're doing something special. We're revisiting the old abandoned house on Lookout Mountain. One of the cool things that's happened in recent times is that somebody saw my older videos of the place and they purchased the house. It's gonna be renovated. So for right now, they are working on getting it cleaned up and getting it renovated. So we've been invited back to take a look at the house in a couple of different stages. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the house after it's been cleaned. So come on guys, let's take a look today and see what we're gonna to see today. Can't wait to see what this place looks like when it's back how it originally was. Now one of the main differences in visiting now versus when I visited it in the past is it's in the middle of summer, so there's going to be a lot of overgrowth. Well, one of the amazing things is this has all been absolutely cleaned out. Well, they're still going to work on the yard. But look at how amazing this it's been pressure washed, it's been cleaned. I mean, you can see all sorts of stuff now. The doorknob, or not the doorknob, the door knocker is still here. One of the more interesting things that I missed. Check out that texture that's natural in the stone. Really interesting. tree that had fallen through the roof has now been taken down. And this house just looks so much better than what it did in the past. It looks like they've had to looks like they've had to remove bunch of stuff and it looks like they're having to at least temporarily resupport this sun porch. Well, it was leaking pretty bad. Creepy paintings gone. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, almost all of those beautiful books are gone. They were thrown away. A lot of them were not recoverable. And all of the records are gone. Now remember, this house is going to be restored. So this, they've gotten it to where it's pretty much broom clean. Another bonus. I am in here without a mask because yes, the house has been cleaned up that much. I wonder what happened to the old piano. Well, 
Looks like they've fixed some leaks and fixed some new things. Well, I'm not walking over in that corner. You can see where the floor has sagged down significantly from the leak. Just look at that amazing floor. It's always amazing. See when people do this floor. And yes, the wallpaper is still in here. This is still a work in progress. But it is looking a lot better. One of the interesting things I noticed coming through here, and I don't know if I paid attention to it last time in the video. Look at these interesting feathery, leafy patterns for the curtains or sashes that would have come down over this. And definitely gotten a lot cleaner than it was in the past. All of these wonderful cabinets are still in here. Although really got interesting amount of paint hanging down. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is actually power in the building again. But we check that out soon. That's just cool. That would have been the old way to turn the lights on and off. Absolutely amazing to see. All of this has been cleaned out. Upstairs. Let's go downstairs and see what the basement looks like if it's still scary. Now remember, folks, this was the horror movie one. Oh lord. Walls have been taken down. It's all it's all wide open now. In this space and this. This is nice with this being open like this. You've got a neat got a neat little hidden space in here. Wonder what this used to be. But yeah, this is uh this is all wide open now. I'm guessing this was access to a uh, fireplace at one point. So with 
all of the stuff going. There is so much room down here. Now, this room was the cricket room. It was full of stuff. Of course, you still have the Chattanooga Roofing and Foundry Company. I'm not wearing the proper shoes, but we'll at least take a peek down here. The horror movie section. The coal is still here. All that stuff that was in that one big room, I don't know if you can see, is now gone. Let's see if the lights work in here. No, the lights do not work in here, but still, you've got a scary place. So anyway, that's it for the basement. Now that we've seen the downstairs, Upstairs and take a look. Wow. The hallway is huge with all the books missing. You know what? I think we're going to start by going to the right. This was the cat office, cat publishing. My oh my, this fireplace is still phenomenal. The room looks even bigger now that all of this stuff is gone. Pretty impressive. Now, I'm not gonna walk out into here, but in the past, this is above the sunroom. This was filled with all of those filing cabinets. And now, it's clear, and they have secured the leak. This was a ladies room, or was the ladies room. Look at this beautiful fireplace. The room is a lot bigger and again has the cool, has the cool floor going in it. And that door obviously went to that other room. Pedestal sink that was hidden behind that. And that is cool. And again, you see those really neat, leafy kind of looking things. And a shower and a bathtub. On a sidebar, I've been told by the owner that the light switches, the old school ones, they're all good. So the switches, by and large, all work.
interesting to see. All of the improvements that have happened so far. Now that all of the rooms are cleared out. Now this is a significantly smaller bathroom. It's more narrow, not smaller. This was that tight closet. I'm not really going to stick my head in there because there's not really anything in there anymore. But the cabinets have still been kept. This still blows my mind how big this hallway feels without all these bookshelves and without all of the stuff. Now, I will have down in the description links to both of the other videos showing this place. sink now is pretty pretty cool and this was that one room with the trophies and where outside was a little sketchy now the amazing thing is going to be in here this was the room that was absolutely crammed full. We couldn't even, we couldn't even get in the, here. This was the one that was full of all of the old and moldy books. And as you can see, it is actually a decent sized room. And I did not know this. There was actually a fireplace in here. Pretty. Pretty amazing. There's nothing in here now. Now those stairs go down to the kitchen, but what you see is what you get. I'm not gonna go down them. But the cool thing is gonna be what does it look like up in the attic now? If you remember, there was so much stuff and the floor was so sketchy that we couldn't get in. It's still hot, but look at this. It is completely, completely cleared out. What's weird is, it actually feels smaller with all of the stuff gone. Here's where the, here's where the bad leaks were and where some of the tree came through. And oh, more creepy. Can still see holes through everything and once the trees get trimmed the view is not going to be bad huh I don't know if you can see this kitty paw prints or maybe Maybe squirrel paw prints, does anybody know? Tell me down in the description. Or in the comments, more importantly. 
but this is amazing it, it's not it doesn't feel as big with all of the stuff gone then there's interesting things like why would a window be put in facing the big chimney it's one of those odd questions and people are asking about stuff the bank removed everything out of this house so all the beautiful records everything that could have been saved is gone and has been thrown away it's a sad state of things but at least the house is getting saved so let's go back downstairs hmm. interesting that the sink is in here separated from the rest of the bathroom well, they're going to be clearing all of that out too so at some point you're going to have beautiful terraces exposed again you don't see it now but there actually is a series of walls and a series of stairs but we'll see that in the future going to get replaced or not replaced but oh. renovated drywall is going to be going up and it's going to be pretty impressive to see what this uh what this outside building is going to look like in the future like there's a little exposure down to the bottom and they've definitely cleared out some stuff to get going good well here is where the old coal shoots would have been now they're all exposed you can actually see them now that it's been trimmed back so they would have brought the coal around and brought them in here and that's in that basement right below the sunroom so that's what it looks like on this side of the house. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have. The new owner is slowly but surely rescuing the house. He's taking his time doing it correctly. He's already fixed a bunch of the stuff on the house up. It's definitely gotten cleaned. I've been invited back to come back and see this place when it's fully restored. So until then, I'm off to go on some journeys. So until then, why don't you go on some journeys of your own? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.